Welcome to What's Going On on Remix TV. I'm your host, uh, Colin Job. I have a special guest for you tonight, Elita Lindo of Girlfriend's Hair Salon. Elita, I want to welcome you to the show. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're going to talk about all your the hair salon business and, and, and how, uh, how, it's, how it's been for you. And we're also going to be talking about a special product that you introduced me to just not too long ago. Yeah. Neurotrust, the... Uh, I guess nutrition for, for your hair. Yes. And we're going to talk about the benefits of that. I know when I first heard about it, it opened my eyes and uh, I wanted to know more about it immediately. But uh, we, won't, we won't give it all away. We'll let them listen and then they'll hear us as, as we proceed during the show. Okay. Once again, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And you know, you, you know, I saw your business a few weeks ago. Uh, I was actually quite impressed with it. I did a really good job putting it together. Thank you. And uh, how did you get started? How did you get involved in, in the hair salon business? Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I always loved doing hair from I was a little girl. And um, I decided to, I was actually working for two other salons previously. And eventually I just decided it's time for me to move on like five years ago. And that's why I decided to move on and start my own business. Great, great. You decided to take the plunge, did you? Yes, I did. And what was it like the first day? The first day, it was very exciting. I think I had all the emotion. Yeah. Excite I was excited, nervous at the same time, because you're thinking, I'm going to be trying a new adventure, basically, Try going out there, starting my own new business. And you're thinking, you're just praying that everything will go well. Yeah. So, but it was all the emotion. I was excited and nervous yeah. at the same time. That's, but that's to be expected. Yes. But five years later, here you are. Here I am, yes, today. <laughs> so, any regrets? No regrets. No? No. See, you wouldn't, you wouldn't rewind and say, you know what, I'm going to go to somebody else's salon. No. I'm, I'm closing shop, I'm going to someone else. No. Not going to happen? Never again. <laughs> Not going to happen? Okay. No. All right, you're, you're convincing me, you're convincing me. So what do you, what do you like most about the hair salon business? Um, what I like most is just basically, I love the idea of um, meeting new clients every day, new people and just basically making people feel good about themselves, doing their hair, making them basically, when they walk through my door, I want them to feel comfortable, they're in a comfortable environment, make them feel good about themselves, and just that's what basically I love to do, just make people look yeah. good and feel good about themselves. So you themself. love being creative? Yes. You love taking someone's hair and coming up with a new hairstyle? All the time. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. And do, they, do your clients, do they bring like, pictures of what they want the yes, hairstyle hair to look like? And we have a few clients that do bring pictures of the styles that they would like. Right. And also we suggest styles to them too because sometimes some clients love changes, which is nice. Oh, okay. So we so you get always, a chance to experiment? Uh, yes, we get a chance to experiment on their hair, which is nice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and that's really interesting because you think, I know well, granted, I, I'm not the typical client, but I don't like people to experiment with my hair. Like when I go to the barber, I say, look, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. Don't deviate from the game plan, <laughs> right? This is the stick to the script. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it works, yeah. sometimes it doesn't. Yes. But, um, but I just uh, I just hope that if it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. that my hair grows back. <laughs> All right. So, so that's 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 really where my uh, my mind's at. Mm -hmm. But it's I, from what I've seen in terms of the hair salon business. Yeah. It can be, there's some people out there who are quite creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of different colors, different styles. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I saw that movie, Good Hair. Yeah. And uh, have you seen it? No, you actually, haven't? I've never seen that you movie yet. It's interesting, it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, I was really, it really opened my mind to the level of creativity that's out there. Yeah. And to think that someone walks into to a, a salon and says, look, you know, I want red and purple or whatever mm -hmm. you think whoa whoa right i guess i guess me being conservative is doesn't is not something that uh is not gonna happen here and yeah. anytime soon but it's uh it's really interesting that people are out there who are willing to roll the dice oh yeah for sure and uh and there are people like yourself who are willing to experiment yes so have you had a lot of unusual requests um we just have a few clients that for example like you were mentioning about purple hair we have clients that come in that want it just some different colors and just basically 
cuts that are just outrageous and mostly I think it's mostly the color people just want something different you have you have a, a set of clients that are just used to look in a certain way every right. day and you have clients that are just they're just fun and they're just they're like changes to roll the dice. they just yeah they just want something different all the time so oh okay how do you adapt to that so um, you ready to go are you I am ready to go I am very creative so I love it <laughs> I love clients that like changes which is nice something good, different good. So. Good. so so what's your hair salon do you do do you, you do the traditional I guess I I'm, I'm the last person to ask because I don't know a lot what goes on in a, in a women's hair salon but um, I guess the traditional different colors different styles and do you do different types of hair as well or what exactly in terms of services or, services yeah. yeah we provide um, we do all different hair types it doesn't matter um, we take care of everyone that comes to our door. Oh, okay. So, but our main services is um, relaxers. We do a lot of relaxers, um, highlights, cuts, extensions, weave. So those are our main services that we cater to our clients. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you do the men's favorite thing, weaves. Yes. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> no sarcasm here. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, okay, that's great. That's great. And um, so you said you've been in business for five years now. Yes. And where do you see the hair salon business heading? Um, for myself, I am hoping that eventually I want to basically expand from where I am right now. So, um, so far it's been pretty good, but I think it could be a lot better. So what I mean by that, I mean like just hiring more staff and just getting more customers to come in so oh, okay. in order to do that like right now we do strictly we do hair so I'm actually looking into going into do aesthetics too oh okay so that will be so branching the whole new area yes oh okay so you, are you looking at expanding your location you're looking to to franchise are you looking to what, what do you um just expand expanding? expand our location oh okay yeah. good because yeah because yeah, what I understand I don't know a whole lot about the industry but I, I hear it's fairly lucrative and it's always growing well, pardon sure. the pun, oh, yeah. but uh, it, it's 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 expanding all the time. So, that, so am I pretty much on the mark there? Yes, you are. It's because these days everybody wants to look good. That's the main thing. Everybody wants to look good. They want to feel good about themselves. In order to do that, number one thing is they make sure they take care of their hair, their body, meaning their you know manicure, pedicures, people like right. things like that. So. Everybody wants to look good, and who doesn't want to look good? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. It's, you know, it's funny, though. It's funny how just uh, a different hairstyle or a different color mm -hmm. can help a person in terms of their appearance, yeah. their outlook, mm -hmm. and some people say even their self esteem. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's, 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 it must be quite satisfying. It is. It is. Like, it's like everyone else that, that goes every day. Like, if your hair you're about to go through the door anywhere you go your hair doesn't look good you don't feel good about yourself once your hair looks good you're like yeah I can go out I can you know I look yeah. good I want to go and do something it's like any client that we have in our salon they come and get their hair done once their hair done they're like I gotta go out tonight my hair looks great you know they feel yeah. good about themselves and, and so the world's a different feel place wonderful yeah wow and that, so makes, that was yeah. quite gratifying yes and that's a very good feeling I feel wonderful I feel really great when I when all my customers are happy great great yeah. and in terms of your staff you have a pretty big staff or is it just yourself and a few others um, I do have um, another stylist that works with me and I have two assistants so oh, okay. there's about four of us that that works at the girlfriend's hair salon right great now. great and we, just before we're gonna go to a quick break in a minute mm -hmm. can you tell people where you're located like in your, your information yeah we're actually um, located at Cawthra Road and the Lakeshore our address there is 714 Lakeshore Road East and it's unit number three and our telephone number there is 905-271-3842 and you can also actually check out our website um, it's under uh, girlfriends www.girlfriendshairsalon.ca Great, great. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back right here on What's Going On with my special guest, Elidit Lindo. <laughs> 